Hello and welcome to the Retro MacCast with James and John, where in each episode we'll stroll down the Macintosh memory lane. We'll discuss older Macintosh computers, collecting all things related to the Mac and Apple computer, and current topics from the perspective that only a couple of old Mac fans can provide. Welcome to the Retro MacCast with James and John. This is episode 144 for December 19th, 2009. Good morning, John. Good morning, James. <laughs> there you are. I see you. <laughs> we are, well, this is a rare occasion, right? This is yes. only the third time. Third time we've recorded the podcast in the same room. Live. Well, we always record it live for us. <laughs> live to tape. Live to tape, yes. So this is a video you, podcast. Right? It'll be video. It'll also be audio. I've got all kinds of recording equipment here. We're going to record it. Um, about three different ways, I think, just to make sure we get it somehow, in some form. This is our third anniversary. Three years. Three years going strong. And so we've got uh, lots of fun stuff today. We're going to, of course, we'll do the usual stuff. We've got, talk about the new members. We've got um, catch up on eBay auctions from last week. we got some more eBay auctions this week. And We're going to take a look. Special some, showcase, yes, of... Your of Macca. Of Macca. We're going to take a little look around Macca. Not spend a whole lot. I don't want to make this too long of a podcast, but we'll take a look around Macca. Oh, yeah. If we, uh, if we tried to look at everything James <laughs> owns us, Apple related, <laughs> it would take a long time. It would be a separate podcast. It would be like its own Welcome to James's Collection podcast because. Yeah, one day I will do a, a special video just yeah, dedicated yeah. to documenting everything. But um, for now, we'll just kind of give a little, a little teaser. Let's see. And then. Um, what else? Well, we got the contest. Mm -hmm. We're going to draw names out of a hat of all the correct entries to last week's trivia question. So and we we'll have some. That. I, I, there are some pretty cool prizes too. Yes, yes. And uh, we'll, we're going to do that at the end of the episode. First, let's let's get to email. I mentioned Pam from Seattle last week. Pam uh, sent us a donation. Thanks again, Pam. And then she gave us an update uh, this past week on her her programming. She oh, just finished excellent. her first quarter of. Macintosh programming, and she says she's enjoying it very much. Her her goal is to uh, do a little Mac program and to, to do iPhone companion apps, and possibly do something um, in line with with her work, which is kind of interesting because she um, she works with. And let me let me get this right. She she works at um, she's involved in nursing homes, and uh, she wants to do programs that might help perhaps the handicapped. Oh, great. And so they might be kind of niche applications mm -hmm. at, at first, but um, she, she's, you know, she's, she's got, she's got her, her, her area of expertise, and that's, that's a perfect way. Very noble. Yeah. yeah. So good luck to her. Uh, new members for this week, there are two. Mike McGinnis is from Denver, Colorado, and uh, he got his first Mac. He doesn't remember, sometime in the 90s. Uh, he's got four or five, but he says he's more of an Apple II guy. So he doesn't tell us how many Apple twos he's got. I mean, he's got a lot. Um, and uh, what else do we know? Well, he's a, he's a friend of Ken Gagney's. I guess he's a, ah, he's a 2GS guy. Great. Uh, and our last new member for the week is Rebecca K. from Tampa. She got her first Mac in 1998 and currently has two. Well, welcome, everyone, to the podcast. Welcome. To uh, our web page. Yeah, and uh, so coming up on the show, of course, eBay auctions. Um, before we do that, I just wanted to... I got something in the mail yesterday, and it's a kind of an impromptu collection spotlight here, but it's oh. cool since we're on the video. Oh. I'm going to fall oh. over here and break this thing. Let me grab one side of it. This is um, it's a, a sign custom made, I think, in the very early 80s. Uh, yeah, yeah so you had to love yeah, so the... It's a stained glass sign of the six color logo. Nice modern Tectura. Um, yeah, the modern Tectura Apple. You know, scripted there on the bottom and framed in wood, but um, I thought this was a pretty good find on, on eBay. Uh, I was extremely worried that I would get it here in one in one piece, and uh, and it made it intact. So uh, it's really happy heavy about that. Too. It is heavy. Yeah, they packed it like nobody's business. Like in about three different boxes, and yeah. So there you go. So that will have to find a good place to hang that up sometime. Okay, so um, I guess coming up next, we'll get into the eBay auctions. eBay. You're listening to the Retro Matcast with James and John. Visit us at www.retromatcast.com or send email to retromatcast at gmail.com. 
Let's take a look at the eBay auctions from last week. We had, um, well, we had that Picasso sign. Oh yeah, the one that was like a dealer award, right? Yeah, so it's a little, little different. It's got like more of a portrait orientation. Um, pretty rare. I'd never seen one before. That one sold for four hundred and ninety-nine dollars after twenty bids, which I think is a heck of a deal given <laughs> the rarity of those things. There was the Mission Impossible bomber jacket. And that one sold for two hundred and one dollars and fifty cents after two bids. And lastly, there was that one of a kind oh, yes. Virgin Apple Mac 2CI uh, vintage collectible motherboard, um, still for sale. Mm. Buy it now of nine hundred and ninety-nine dollars and ninety-nine cents, or you can make an offer. All right, three auctions this week. The first one has expired. I'm sorry. It, uh, it, it I think it came up like midweek. It was a short auction and then ended. Uh, but I wanted to point out because this is something that I had never seen on eBay. But what it is, it's a prototype Apple eMate 300. Now, the, you know, we're used to seeing the prototype message pads. We've seen mm -hmm. a prototype. Uh, Even though some of the, yeah, some of the compact Max. Yeah, I think we've seen like a, like a, it was a LC, uh, or a th LC3 or, or something in there. We saw one. Uh, but I had never seen an eMate mm -hmm. until now. And so this one, this one's pretty cool. It's um, really striking, yes. Yeah, and. What did it sell for? It sold for two thousand dollars. Wow! Right. Yeah, you know, but it. I mean, seriously, go check it out. You know, look at the pictures. I like the fact that they actually have video of yeah. the device. Yeah. You know, yeah. You know, just them opening up, but it is. I've never seen anyone on yeah, you know eBay do video people before. People put videos on eBay. But it's pretty cool. I mean, it really. I mean, look at it. You you can. <laughs> it's awesome. The, the description says that there were only five of these made, these prototypes. So, um, yeah, that does make it pretty rare. So, anyway, take a look at that. Okay, what do we got next? Next up is an Apple computer fine furniture grade media storage box. Ah. Very similar to that. This, is, this isn't the one we're talking about. This is, yeah, this is a, you know, a, James is like, yeah, we, uh, I need to sell a couple of these. <laughs> Uh, no, no, this is a... Uh, this one's mine. I'm, keep, I'm keeping this one, but there's uh, another one just like it. Yeah, it's a unbelievably cool storage box. It was originally for the three and a half inch disks and sold in 1987. It's been preserved in new condition and it's constructed of walnut and includes removable internal dividers. Come on, Vanna, show up. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Uh, brass hinges, fully dovetailed corners, and an understated gold Apple logo on the front. Right. Ah uh, yes, but it's yeah, it's it's not your typical disk storage box normally. Goodness no, not plastic. <laughs> you know, the, right. uh, don't miss out on this very rare piece of Apple history. Something no one else you know will ever find or have, well, except for this guy. Uh, <laughs> yeah, this looks like he, it was commissioned by Steve Jobs himself. I mean, yeah, I mean, it, it, now this one, this one that's been bought was bought uh, when the guy bought his Apple II GS back in 1987. So. Pretty cool. It's got a starting bid of only seven uh, seventy nine dollars and ninety nine cents. This still has six days, fifteen hours to go, ending on Christmas, December twenty fifth. Cool. Yeah, you know, I didn't know it was made out of walnut, so that's nice to know. Yeah, but, uh, it was walnut, but it really is. I mean, there's a lot of the detail there. The dovetailing. The dovetailing is right. really um, impressive. It's, it's a beautiful box. Mine, unfortunately, isn't as mint as the one that looks like there in the picture. I got a scratch or two on mine, but very nice. Yes. Okay. What's our last one? The last one, um, we had seen these before. Oh, ah, yeah. Uh, these are quilts made out of Apple t-shirts. So somebody had taken quilt, and I, I, I don't know if this is this is from the same person that made the ones before. It could be. Uh, but it's a handmade quilt made from 15 different Apple t-shirts. It's great for any Mac fan. All shirts were properly cleaned before becoming part of this quilt. And so you've got, what is it, a 3 by 5 grid of kind of a checkerboard yeah it's just a right squares of the the t-shirts for the design right for the front yeah so, I, I mean and that's a it's a cool idea for your old shirts that have been lying around and you know maybe maybe the ones that you've worn I certainly wouldn't want to do this with a with a new t-shirt right yeah there's um there seem to be I mean they're t-shirts from like uh, OS 10 on mm -hmm. just OS 10 some uh, looks like there's a is that Jet? No, no, no. That's leopard. Is that leopard there in the lower right-hand corner? Tiger. Tiger. Yeah. Tiger. Okay. 